So the SCAR FSX-65 and the EVL-65. So this is the no, TPA-3116 D2 board, the version with uh, five pots on the front. <coughs> you can see it's a pretty, pretty deep box. But I've got it set up with a 6.5 SCAR. This is the FSX 6.5. And uh, when I bought it, Amazon had it listed as a subwoofer. Um, but had I gone to the SCAR website, I'd know that it's in fact a mid-range speaker. So this particular amp puts out 100 watts to a sub-channel that's controlled by these buttons here. And uh, it sounds actually pretty decent with the 6.5 in there now um, but because it's only a sub and it's only <coughs> it's not a sub sorry it's uh, only a mid-range speaker and it's rated only down to 100 hertz I picked up their actual 6.5 sub which I think this is the EVL 65 so I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out I'm doing some some songs as control tests from the you know free music library and uh, we'll see how much better it sounds with uh, a dedicated sub versus the mid-range speaker. I've got all the, uh, basically all the treble, all the high stuff tuned all the way down, all the lows, as high as I can go. So it sounds terrible, but just trying to see what we can get out of that FSX speaker. That uh, FSX is rated at 300 watts, but with any power, it just starts distorting very quickly because it just doesn't have the excursion that the other one does. So you can see the difference in the size between the FSX 6.5 driver and the EVL driver is substantially bigger. It's dual voice coils on there compared to just one over here but weight wise it's uh, over twice as heavy probably three times as heavy let's install it such a rookie move I didn't check which way the writing was oriented and of course I've got it upside down We'll try it out anyway, but one thing that I wanted to look at real quick is this kind of uh, accordion-style surround on this FSX speaker. It just does not allow the excursion uh, that's on the EVL speaker. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a listen, but I expect that the EVL speaker will do quite a bit better. There's no comparison. You can immediately tell visually that it's uh, just moving quite a bit more than the other one. But uh, when you can really hear it here, you know, I'm sure the audio doesn't come through as well on, the, uh, on this video as it does in person. And it makes an enormous difference. The result should be obvious. It's just buy the correct driver for the job. In this case, it is the uh, EVL to run the, the low frequencies. And, uh, you know, that FSX driver is probably pretty decent mid-range in its own. All right. Hope you're happy and safe. And over and out.